Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today we are looking at three months from whenever you come across this video. And um, as usual, I don't have any objects on these piles. Recently, I wanted to include less and less on objects because I've noticed a lot of you guys are intuitive. If you're not, uh, this helps you out practicing and truly developing your intuition and learning how to tune in. Now, if none of these piles vibe with you, there might not be a message for you. You might want to take a look at your phone, look at the time, what number stands out for you the most and choose that way. So pile number one is here. That's pile two, pile three, pile four. Take a minute, stop the video here if you need some more time and I'm gonna see in timestamps. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile one, we're gonna be picking more cards and um, we're going to be looking at what it is that you're going to be learning throughout those three months from whenever you come across this video, what's going to be improving in your life, and we're going to also be pulling from tea leaf tarot, and we're going to be clarifying those cards, okay? So, ooh, all right, all right. So let's see what is up. It's morning time here, but it's so dark now. Let me roll them down a bit. Um... It's so dark now, I'm having my coffee and I can't seem to open my eyes. <laughs> it's those times, hey? Winter is coming. Okay, one more. Okay, good. Let's see what is up. Let's see what is up with tea leaf first and then we're going to be looking at the other cards. So we have vine. I see card information that will help you. We have dragon. Um, for some of you, this is going to have a meaning for you. Uh, be aware of self-delusion. We have ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. And we've got gong. An exciting event. Okay. So let's see what we have from your magic of you. I believe that that's how it's called. It says perfect acceptance. Now, every time I pull this card, I know that what you're learning, guys, for all these three months is how to take it easy on yourself. How much pressure you tend to put on yourself by maybe trying to be overly uh, perfectionist or maybe something that you see on social media and you try to apply it to your life, which is not completely uh, realistic. Maybe um, overburdening yourself with who you think you should be and how well you are doing comparing to this image of yours that you have created. Now, it's nothing bad about having goals, but when those goals over overburden you and they keep you in prison, that is when uh, troubles start because then you put too much burden on yourself and you start being a little bit maybe even de delusional for yourself here where it's it's all good to be who you are authentically, you know, with all the quirks, with all the mistakes that we all make, right? And it seems like you're going to be learning that more so in uh, in these coming three months. You're going to be taking it easy. Taking it easy, you're going to be, um, I think, taking one step at a time when it's it has to do with self-image self for some of you. Maybe something that you may not like in yourself and you're going to be accepting that more so or something that you may have done in the past and you are thinking hey um, maybe I should be doing better where you're already doing great so it's uh, something about you truly giving yourself a pat on the back and saying you're good enough okay then with steampunk keeper what's going to be improving Gloom and doubt as well as rest or illness. So now this is saying that you're going to give yourself a little bit more time of peacefulness, as I shall put it that way. You might decide to take extra time for yourself or self-care. Um, doesn't matter how that would come through. Would it be taking you know, two hours having a bath, some kind of, I don't know, spa, um, allowing yourself to chill a, a little bit more in between those tasks, right? Uh, or giving yourself less pressure in your own thoughts without gloom and doubt right in general for pile one the veil is being lifted it's it seems here anything that you might be worried right now um, is gonna be 
much more clear for you and you're not going to have those doubts anymore. There is not going to be any gloom, any mist. You're going to start seeing things much more clearly than you did before. A bit like in this card where uh, these roots will come off your face and you're going to be, uh, you're going to have a clear vision. This is saying, okay, whatever is bothering you right now. Let's clarify your cards. So let's start with Vine. Seek out information that will help you. What is that talking about? Where do you need to seek for information? What you're going to be doing? Pile one. We've got the High Priestess. You may be booking a reading with someone or you might be doing a reading for yourself in order to get clarity. Uh, but whatever the case, it says... Um, do not get lost in, in your own headspace. So there has to be a balance. And I think that's what you're going to be learning in the next three months. The balance between um, taking action in this life, in this 3D life, as well as what it is that you're feeling that you need to do spiritually, right? And standing in that middle ground between that uh, black and white, having a gray space. And I think for a lot of you, you're going to be asking about maybe some kind of connection or how to find yourself, how to find your authenticity, how to bring it out of yourself, you know, one or the other. It can be a connection that you're seeking for answers and you're going to get that, or it can be self-image, something that you might be digging in you, maybe some shadow work that you will want to do. And um, whatever the information that will come through, it seems like it's going to be very helpful for you in order to proceed with your life. I want to pull one more card about that. Seek out information that will help you. You may be getting a really good advice from someone here. Yeah, um, whoever this is, this person tends to be a bit logical, um, sharp-minded, very straight to the point. Someone who is very knowledgeable, probably traveled as well. And uh, they have gathered quite a lot of experiences from their life too. Therefore, this person would be a good advisor for you. And I think you might come across the person like this, where you're like, okay, I needed these words of wisdom from you. That's all I need. I'm moving on. Thank you very much. You know, almost like you have a toolbox, you take a tool from it and you're like, thank you very much. That that's the tool that I needed to fix something or to improve something. And let's clarify dragon, be aware of self-delusion. Three of Wands. Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. I already know what that's talking about. Seven of Wands. What this is saying to me here, guys, the grass is not always greener on the other side. You can water your own grass and it's going to be as green as you imagine it to be on the neighbor's side. That is what I'm seeing with this card, you know. The way of self-delusion, it's saying, you know, it's uh, probably maybe something that you think that can um, be improved somewhere else or with someone else, you know, would it be location or person? It's saying whatever you have right now, maybe if you, if you worked on it, if you protected that idea or if you worked on a situation right now, wherever you're standing, whatever ground you're standing on, um, it can be improved. You know, flowers can grow in that garden of yours, right? If you give it a bit of watering, if you um, spend a little bit more time improving it. So it's not going to be definitely for everyone, but it can be also referring to, for some of you, about some kind of a trip that you might be uh, um, taking or protecting something that is not for you to take. Is that making sense? I hope it's making sense. Uh, but whatever the case, it's saying clarity is coming to you regardless with those cards that we have on the side, right? So self-delusion will be gone. Maybe you create some kind of scenarios in your head from time to time and you confuse yourself, whatever that would be. And that is that is going to be dealt with in the future for you. Let's check on a ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Whoever is getting married, congratulations. The Hierophant. Um, uh, it seems like you might come across a mentor or a really good advisor. Whoever this person is, you know, it can be maybe your romantic partner uh, that you do have and you're going to have a lot of wisdom from him. 
would it be you who is this mentor or, or counselor for other people? It seems like if you're dealing with clients, you're going to have really, really good connections. Now, if you are not that kind of person who is a mentor, you know, you're not doing this professionally or teaching others professionally, it seems like you're going to come, come across the person who's going to have a couple of keys to open those doors for you. But it's not that they're doing it for you. They might just guide you a little bit towards where you need to be because you already know intuitively. See, you already know where you need to go, but maybe you need some kind of reassurance. And this person will cross your path. And I think this uh, connection will not be, um, you know, only that kind of client uh, connection. Um, it's gonna develop to something more than that. There is some kind of connection that you are making here, that you are creating, that you have the next three months that is gonna be somehow influential for you. And then we have the Queen of Wands. It can be someone on a fe of a feminine um, energy, someone who's very professional, someone knows what the heck they're speaking about and knows how to advise you. And someone who has a lot of uh, recognition and respect from other people. I'd, I'd go as far as maybe publicly visible too for some of you. But whatever this connection is, it's quite strong. It seems like uh, this person has a lot of experiences. And therefore, they're going to influence your life for the better. If that is you, that is you influencing someone and you're going to get a lot of uh, great feedback. So expect connections to not only... It's almost like vice versa for me. You know, the connection is teaching you as well as uh, you teaching that person that you are connecting with. And I think this is going to be almost like a highlight for you because it seems very intense to me. And we have two major cards coming out there. So watch out for... Even for some of you being publicly more visible than before, if you are in this field, okay, a lot of recognition is coming your way. Let's look at the exciting event with the gong here. You might be proposed to going somewhere. Doesn't matter what kind of event that is. You might be proposed to going somewhere. You're taking some kind of proposition here let me see what what it what it's like what it's gonna be like for you uh, yeah i think you're gonna have more than one and you're gonna have to choose from the opportunities that you will be getting guys and it's interesting how we have a dragon here too we had dragon in the um tea leaf and we have dragon in the steampunk deck so there is something about this meaning of a dragon for you spiritually probably that you might want to look up but a lot of you probably know what it is that it means. For some others of you, I'm seeing a snake as well. Yeah, it does seem like you're going to be indecisive when it comes to where do I spend my time on? Because I have these opportunities coming my way. I have these offers coming my way. You know, maybe one day visiting this person, the other day doing something else. And you're going to be choosing how to prioritize your time. Let's see a bit more. Sorry guys, pile one. So I had to run out the door. Something came up. Someone started ringing me. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Let's continue with your reading. And it got even darker. So here we are. So maybe some kind of interruption happened in your life as well right now. Mm. And it's okay, you know, to leave things um, on hold until you figure out other aspects of your life maybe that's something that is quite important for someone out there let's see so let's look at that gong a little bit more what is that talking about um, yeah there is some kind of a some kind of reunion for some of you or some kind of an opportunity maybe a romantic gesture that is coming up it doesn't always have to be romantic but this sounds very nice what can whatever the event gong represents here it seems like you get the opportunity to go somewhere. Someone goes, hey, how about this? And you're like, hmm, let me check on all those other things that I had in mind. And I think you're going to decide to go for it. So wherever you are going, it seems like you're going to have a great time. And maybe you're going to meet someone there too. Right? You might meet someone, someone there too. So connections, connections, pal number one. 
Anything else? Yeah, it might even, you know, be some kind of collaboration that you might want to work on. So through people, through connections, you might find maybe a business partner or maybe someone you want to work on a project with or some kind of suggestion that you will get. Now, what I want to do, I want you to guys think of number one, two or three. You can listen to all of them if you want to. I'm going to be pulling three cards as messages for you. So we're doing a pile within a pile here. And I'm just going to read these messages out for you. So group number one. Group number two. And group number three. Anything for you right now, right? A message for you right now. And group number three. Right, so let's see. Group one, Ace of Spring, it says a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you will still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. That's what we have for you guys. Numbers two. Princess of Spring, it says creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are flattering your way. Personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Also, look at, uh, look at the cards. You, you might be picking up uh, maybe, let's say, a butterfly for some of you might be important. A crown might have an importance to it, right? If you're looking for a sign. Then number three, it says... Um, it's three of winter. It says sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you will be stronger than before. And I'm paying attention to collectively, you know, overall, we have two here, two here. It seems like this pile one, you're being asked to kind of communicate with people and also if you need some kind of comfort it's around the corner you know give it give someone a call or maybe just talk to someone it's gonna help you out so i hope that this made sense and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now hello pal two people so we're gonna be looking at what you will be dealing with and what might be important for you for your own self throughout these three months from whenever you're watching this video and um, what is going to be improving in your life? I'm going to also pull from the tea leaf tarot and we'll go from there, okay? So let's see what is up. Wow, okay. The next three months. Pile two. Pile two, I feel like that one. So we have the eye. It says psychic ability, trust your intuition. Uh, those who are doing this professionally expect hyped up intuition <laughs> if i can put it that way then we have turkey someone is behaving stupidly <laughs> we're going to be clarifying these cards bear with me um this will be kind of little stories for all of you let's see what else the next three months i'm being drawn to these two cards and i'm gonna take them okay let me put it on a side. So we also have flute. It says disappointment in a friend or lover. And then triumph over troubles and obstacles. Uh, we ending this very nicely, I must say. Let's start clarifying. I think I want the triple goddess tarot for you. And let's see what is the situation talking about here. So let's clarify I. Psychic ability, trust, you are intuition. What is that connected to, please? Pile number two. We have the Knight, I believe, of Pentacles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we have the Empress as well as the Justice. I'm going to clarify them all and we'll start talking then, okay? Let me adjust the camera for you a bit. Then let's clarify Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> this is so funny. It's, um, it's childish energy that I'm picking up here. It can be actually your child if you have one. Because I'm not feeling anything, you know. Anything that is of a big trouble. Let's put it that way. We have the Queen of Swords, I believe. It might be a knight, but I read these completely 
intuitively for what I see from the image. I feel like this car, this deck is the best for that. Knight of Cups. And Four of Cups. Okay, Flute. Let's clarify that. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Chariot. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Then let's talk about the Eagle. What about the Eagle, please? The Seven of Swords. Ooh, a lot of things come to light. Pile number two. We have the Knight of, Nine of Swords. I like it standing in that position, you know? Okay, as well as that. Big, big stuff. Pile number two. Now, this is going to be what will be improving from the Steampunk Keeper. We have partnership as well as meeting get together. Uh, you know, guys, overall, collective for pile number two, what I'm sensing, don't be surprised if some people may become a bit more distant or you may become a bit more distant be be um, because of someone's behavior. And, you know, when people hear me say that, it's not about this negative part. It's about you almost like... Um, because you will be changing who you are um, energetically. It seems like some connections might fall off. That's that's how I'm seeing it, literally, you know, like bricks and some of those bricks fall off. And um, it seems like for a lot of you, you may be um, in this journey of finding new connections or finding partnerships where you didn't probably see them coming from so this is quite exciting but this is a big big shift in your life it almost seems like rejuvenation for me here and then you have ubuntu compassion for others and i think i'm gonna read about this card a little bit guys for you uh, towards the end and we're gonna see we're gonna tie this all together so we have psychic ability trust your intuition um, it seems like you guys, if you'll be making any sort of decisions that have anything to do with, would it be papers or documents? It's very straightforward. The just is next to this card, right? Trust your gut feeling. You, you will know what contract to sign or what document to sign or anything that has to do with documents. If there's going to be a question in your mind, you're going to know what you need to do. Now, for some of you, it seems like you are... If it's relating to pregnancy for some of you, you might be even feeling when you might be pregnant, when you are going to get pregnant, right? Um, that intuitive feeling without having any maybe facts. And you know that deep, deep gut feeling. Like, I don't know why, but I just know that at this year, I'm, I'm going to do that. So I think uh, maybe for some of you, that intuitive feeling will show present itself to you, show itself to you in the 3D. Actually, something will happen the way you thought it would. So I'd say this is a good time for you if you want to ask questions. If you want to ask questions, if you want to find what, what it is that you want to do and maybe even your education. And um, it's not that you're going to have to ask cards. Some of you might be drawn to that. But it's more so that third eye and that intuitive knowing, just knowing it in your body, in your bones, what is going to happen. So very, very intuitive time for you guys. And I think it will happen for most of you the second month from whenever you're watching this video. So trust your gut feelings, right? You're going to be shown that you were correct in one particular situation. Then we have the turkey, which is clarified by these cards right so i don't have to <laughs> i don't have to name them all the time um someone is behaving stupidly and we are clarifying that and in this case it seems like you will want someone to take their mask off and say hey tell me what you want to say 
don't hold it in and you're gonna be very straightforward you're gonna be like hey you know what and there is no i'm not feeling any clash here i'm more so feeling like you might be teaching someone how to act how not to be as childish and it seems like you may even be as a mentor for someone and this gives me a you know younger person's vibe so it can be maybe a teenager for some of you or someone who is not as emotionally or emotionally mature or not as experienced almost like you know in this situation now you might be taught that yourself you know it can be vice versa why are you sitting at that window you know why are you dwelling on the same thing all over again get up so that you can see all those three cups that you haven't noticed before get up right and it seems like this person once they got up you know they went changed their clothes and they like copped on on the horse and they like on to adventure so there might be a situation where you might be offered something you know to change maybe your perception or your routine because it's not the best for you or it could be improved in order to improve your well-being would it be emotional would it be physical right and um there is something about that sentence you know hey don't be silly um this is easy to fix that's how I'm sen that's what I'm sensing here. It might be um, also some kind of event. I don't know why I'm picking that up where maybe you will be preparing for it or where you have to stand up and speak in front of other people. And maybe some of you will be um, very nervous about it and someone comes comes and says, hey, you know what? Don't be silly, you're gonna do great. There's something good about this turkey card that I'm picking up here. And it seems like there's words of encouragement coming from you to someone or from someone to you. If you know that you're gonna have to be the one, um, you know, changing your routine or you're gonna have to be the one who will be standing in front of other people and speaking something, right? Now, let's see, we have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Now, it can go both ways. Um, whoever you're dealing with, a friend or lover, the these next three months, it seems like maybe there is going to be a, a situation where someone will not pay as much attention to a connection as they should because what I'm looking at I'm looking at all of these people here reaching for this queen and she's like I know I got this attention so there might be some kind of conflict regarding some kind of attention you know would it be you getting that attention and a bit of jealousy coming through specifically if it's your lover or a friend who might be jealous because you are publicly seen or you are doing really well and maybe that jealousy will come through in um in a way that it's it doesn't have to be verbal though you know you might be just sensing it but um again it seems like whatever is happening here pile number two it's it more more so feels like uh some kind of a lesson to see hey if someone is jealous of me it means that either you know i'm doing something right something that maybe this person acknowledges you know in me that they could do but they're not doing and therefore it comes for you know that jealousy which is you know completely normal in in many cases but it just depends how people um decide to go about that jealousy will they show it to you and how if at all right so i'm not seeing any words spoken here uh, but what I'm seeing is that intuitive feeling that maybe someone is a bit jealous or someone has more attention than uh, than someone else, right? Because the um, the chariot is all about, you know, recognition and also respect. That's how I tend to see this card. And it can be to do with your work. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe someone was a bit jealous because of your work. Because you're standing tall, you keep on minding your own business, you're earning your pentacles, and you're looking forward, where is where is your next location? Where is that journey taking you? You're like, look at this now, you know, let me explore that castle, let's see what's up there. So you had workers, you motivated, you know what it is you need to do. And I think this is just a hint of jealousy coming through, but it doesn't feel like you are bothered, if you can see here at all. And um, if that is going to be vice versa, that other person is not bothered at all. It almost feels like... Um, 
whoever this is that is getting that jealous vibe from someone, they're not bothered. They're like, I'm just doing whatever I'm doing. You know, mind your own business. <laughs> um, it can be a situation with a partner, maybe, you know, if you're doing better than your partner in any area of your life, maybe there is going to be some kind of a, you know, conversation where you might be feeling that, you know what, kind of feel sorry because maybe um, they they want to be the ones who provide and they're not able to. And therefore, I can feel this a bit of disappointment, you know, in themselves. And it might be a feeling like it's coming through um, that they put in on they put in it on me, you know, but I'm not seeing any words though. So what is interesting here, it might be just it might be a feeling without any, you know, solid ground to it. But either way, someone, would it be you or them, are doing really well when it comes to respect, when it comes to recognition, work being very visible, spe specifically for the public. So there might be that, you know, there is some kind of accomplishment that you will have the next three months that is going to maybe boost your business or boost your work or some kind of promotion will come up or a job opportunity where, you know, it might cause some other people who are not as happy with themselves, right, uh, to feel a certain way. Now we have Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. What I like here, um, again, that seven of um, swords here for me, I, you know, I don't like to sugarcoat things here, but it does seem like there's a, like a like a jealous eye here that I don't particularly like, but <laughs> see, they are battling with themselves. I'm not seeing that they are, you know, somehow, see, even this, how this card is, they're walking away, they're walking away and they keep, you know, glancing back. And, um, those swords usually, um, they are in person's hand, Right. And they're trying to hide those swords because they're trying to trick you. In this case, you know everything already. You know what was taken from you. You know what was said. You're not bothered. Look at you standing tall, right? Doing your own thing. Trusting your intuition. What your intuition is telling you. And it seems like you're going to be... <laughs> if someone is going to be about to play with you, you are going to be way ahead of the game already. And nothing will surprise you. You're like... <clears throat> kind of, yeah, I knew it, like, it's not bothering me, or oh, can I help you, <laughs> are you not happy, you know, how can I help you if you're not happy in this situation, so, <laughs> there's, <laughs> this is so interesting, you're like, well, I'm, I'm doing my thing, I'm doing my thing, honestly, it's like, you know, we have this saying, water runs off, water runs off, like, um, it runs off duck feathers, you know, it doesn't stick, uh, so that is what kind of situation I'm seeing here. Now, what I like is, you know, any kind of troubles you may have been facing, um, you know about those troubles already, right? It seems like it's coming to an end. Specifically for those who might have felt like um, they were anxious or depressed, I think you're going to find ways how to improve that for yourself. In general, mental health will be changing, and uh, it seems like you might be transitioning to a bit of a new person, a bit of a different person. So I wouldn't be surprised if you found maybe some kind of herb or some kind of, you know, and I'm hearing organic uh, medicine or meditation or whatever that would be that would help you out to free your mind of something. And I think for a lot of you already know what I'm talking about here. It's probably the anxiety or maybe social anxiety or um, if you cannot get to sleep very easily. So you're finding ways how to improve that. Now, your partnerships will be on point. And it's interesting, you know, it feels like you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people again, right? Look, uh, meetings and get-togethers. This is going to be something that is improving. You're finding a lot of people to spend time with or to talk to. And those people are very unique and interesting. And I do think that someone might be observing you throughout that time. Someone who you're aware of, I think, already. That's not a new person. And they might, without wanting to do any damage, they just might feel a little, a little bit jealous because maybe they can't have that. Or maybe they're not as successful. Don't take that jealousy as something, you know, someone trying to be bitchy. I mean, it can be for a couple of you, but I'm not seeing any threats here. I'm also feeling, you know, 
more so feeling sorry for whoever that person is who is not standing tall. So maybe um, however you're going to approach it, maybe you're going to be the one who's like, you know what? You are saying, hey, stop acting silly. You can do this as well. You're going to be successful too, you know. You're doing great already. You're in the right place. I'm seeing that there is some kind of, a, you know, situation where you're doing so well in one area in your life that someone might feel bad because they're not doing enough, in your, you know. They're not doing enough. And um, I'm not feeling, you know, anything bad here. I'm also feeling like... Whoever this is, they might need help. Obviously, you know, don't come to me, um, don't come at me in comment section because, you know, sometimes people are like, yeah, this person has done this and that and that to me. If that's the case, you know how to act, right? You know how to act. Um, that's not what I'm seeing here. For most of you, I'm seeing just someone who feels a little bit like, you know, sad, sad because of themselves, not because, you know, of um, that nasty jealousy that oh my god you know they don't deserve it you know kind of thing so if you know that someone was a bit bitchy to you before and you are like the enough is enough act how you want to act but that's not what i'm picking up now a lot of people might be um coming your way a lot of people need your attention or something from you so if you work with clients or you work in a job where you take care of a lot of people or you communicate with a lot of people, it seems like you're gonna make really nice connections and almost like unexpected connections, right? And uh, partnership here, I think from that crowd of people you might find, would it be same sex? Yeah, for most of you, same sex partnership that is gonna be somehow very valuable to you. And in general, any kind of meetings that you may have planned throughout that time, they're all going to go great. Um, and for some of you, you're going to learn something from those meetings. You know, when you go to a meeting, sometimes you're like, oh, I really don't want to go there. But it does seem like um, it's not going to be the way that you've imagined it to be. There is something better, you know, something will come out of it. If you'll be drawn to talking to people, group of people, or have uh, some kind of project that in involves people is gonna go great because these cards speak about what is gonna be improving right so maybe even your own partnership uh, with your husband or wife that will be improving too now let's sum it up with ubuntu card and i'm gonna be reading that one out for you guys from the book because i just feel like it here and it says compassion for others so it might be somehow summing this reading up. I do believe, you know, because when I looked at that compassion now, it seems like maybe you're going to have to have compassion for that person. Um, almost like you, you, you seem very nice. You know, someone, for example, if you, if you bought something very precious for yourself, I'm going to give you a simple situation here. Uh, you bought amazing earrings, right? precious earrings you've been waiting for uh, this opportunity to buy them for x amount of time you go to visit your friend or family member and before you even talking about that or wanting to show that thing to them right they go oh my god i've lost such a precious ring or anything to do with that right and what you decide to do you choose you choose not to um brag in a good way right about that about those new earrings because you know that it's going to make that person feel bad because they're so deeply sorry about that loss so you know that's how you feel to me the next three months you are very compassionate and you know when to say what and you're very mature and it can be you know to do with the children that you are raising if you do have children because it does seem like there is a relationship between you know a younger and an older person here where because of their own good, I'm going to choose to do that. Because this person is good to me. Not because that, you know... Mm, if this person was bragging all the time, right? Or this person didn't act the same way that you would. You know, they will not be caring. You would definitely probably think about telling them about those earrings. But that is what kind of situation I'm picking up here. You know, that compassion. And um, with that little 
small nice gesture of some sorts there is something precious coming for you and i think where you might find your luck and where you might find those rewards coming in your life uh, they coming to you unexpectedly sometimes because of the little nice things that you decide to do you have a big big heart and um, i'd say pay attention to that because you might um a lot of you do it subconsciously because you have a big heart and when people just act from heart they get a lot of rewards because they don't expect anything in return right and it's not about uh, that you know an equal or kind of toxic give and take where one is just taken and another is given no it's about that you know balance between so let's talk about this it says what if you were solely defined by your compassion for others and the kindness you extended how would your life look how would you conduct yourself if ubuntu humanity was solely what you were noted for Consider how your benevolence can extend to other species and creatures. This is a time to empathize with others' journeys and put yourself in their shoes. See, that kind of sums up what I talked about. For better or for worse, the girl pierces her own eye with a leaf. In doing so, opens the window to her soul and learns from the challenges and the gifts of others' journeys. She is peaceful and reflective. There is no pain, only greater understanding and greater wisdom. Now is the time to notice others' struggles and help them. Listening with compassion and patience can ease the suffering of another person. Be defined by your willingness to put others' needs before your own, just as you would appreciate they might do in your times of need. Just summed it up very nicely here, right? That example of those earrings and... Um, that compassion, you know, and that it seems like you're going to be, if you are in this field of somehow helping other people, you're going to probably start noticing what kind of impact you do have on others. And a lot of people might be showing you what it is that you have done for them, maybe sometimes even without knowing, without doing it consciously, you know? So little thing that you may say or something that you may do that you don't think it's a big deal. And then you do have a couple of people coming in and they're like, you know what? This was the best thing ever, you know? And it feels very, very nice here. I really like this Pals 2 vibe. I honestly do. Damn, this is good. <laughs> really do. Wow, okay. What I want you to do is to think of a number one, two, or three. We're going to do a pile within a pile. So this is going to be a message for yourself right now that you may need to hear. Some people like to listen to all of them. Oop. So if you feel like that, you can. So we have number one, number two, and let's pull one more card for number three. So let's start. For number ones, we have Ten of Spring, which is Ten of Wands in a regular deck. It says, you are working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. Now, for some of you, do you remember how I said vice versa? So it might be that someone is showing you compassion. Whenever you feel like you need to relax, this is saying don't. Or if you need someone to take over a task, don't be afraid to ask. And I know it might be difficult for those who have been independent throughout life. But I think that's something that we need to learn, you know. Um, even if you were independent and you did everything for yourself and maybe your family, it's just healthy being in this gray space where you're not overcrowding yourself. You're not overburdening yourself. And you're like, you know what? Hey, could you make me some soup? You know, I, f I really feel like shit. <laughs> you know, simple things like that. If you obviously have someone living around or if you do have uh, someone in your family who can do that for you, because maybe you are that person who would do that all the time. Okay, so number two. Seven of Autumn, it says, the planning resources and efforts you have invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on your next steps. This is a message for twos. And a message for number three, it says, your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You will garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. 
make a wish number three so i hope that this was helpful tribe thank you very much for coming back um love your feedback love your comments i mean <laughs> those guys who are liking video before even watching it <laughs> you're dope and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now Hello, pal three. So we have one card, what is going to be important, what you're going to be learning. Then Steampunk Kippa will be talking about what will be improving in your life. And we're going to also be pulling from tea leaf and we'll see what is happening. Certain maybe events that we will be clarifying with tarot. Okay. So let's see what is up. I hope I'm not going to drop half of this deck because it's quite impossible to shuffle it. If someone has a technique, let me know. Okay, pile three. I think I want four cards. Well, too many, but that one will take. Okay, we want two more. Pile three. What is up? The next three months that you may need to know about okay so obviously this is not gonna be everything that will happen for all that time but those might be the messages that you may need to hear so let's take these cards we starting with take care or there will be loss of material wealth don't get terrified we're gonna give you advice we'll see what that's up what that is talking about then we have rabbit too much concern with sexual matters <laughs> Ooh. And then we have ink point, problems to be resolved. And then we have chain, chain of events that will affect your life. This seems like you are breaking away from some kind of a, almost like karmic pattern to me. You know, some of you have gone through this already. Some of you will. Now let's see what is going to be improving in your life. We have journey as well as sad news. Now, because it stands in a position, what's good happening, what's improving. I can't take my eyes off this card because... For me, the cards that you have from the tea leaf tarot, it seems like it's speaking about some kind of event that will actually turn out to be, um, at first, a bit of an issue, but almost like a blessing in disguise. So if there is going to be a plan that you had and you imagined things to go a certain way, you know, you, you, you were attached to the outcome, and um, if it's not going to go the way that you have planned, those sad news will actually be good news. You know, there was that saying where sometimes what we don't get is actually a blessing, right? So it's something along those lines here for you guys where it seems like life will take you a bit of an, a bit, oh, can't speak, uh, <laughs> help, <laughs> help, uh, a bit on a different journey that maybe you have planned, which is very interesting for you guys. I don't use these cards very often because they're just very massive, but I wanted to use the Urban Tarot for you. Modern. So let's see, let's clarify Shark. And it says, take care of there will be loss of material wealth. What is happening? What do you need to know how to improve that and how to change that around? Because remember, Whatever that you are being told, you can always navigate it the way you want it to be. You hold the power. You are the creator. Okay. The hanged man. And it's, it vibes visually with what it is that the shark card says. Now, what you're being advised is not to waste money. And you see the cards and the phone is here. Not to waste money on things that don't matter right now. So that you can have the money once you will need it. Almost like being... Wow, what came through. I think this is going to be great for pile number threes. There is this girl... This lady, I'm going to find her for you on YouTube that I love watching when it comes to money matters, when it comes to investments, when it comes to um, intelligent, intelligent moves, <laughs> if I can put it that way. Let me find her for you. Bear with me here. In my search, we have so many shamans that I need to I need to swap to a different 
<laughs> Different playlist. Mm. I hope you have time. Mm -hmm. So her channel is called, bear with me, her channel is called The Break and um, she's from UK, she's amazing, she's ha she has an amazing personality but she's very intelligent when it comes to making money moves, you know, and I think you would really, really enjoy what she has to say in that she has two channels one hers and the break is her baby you know talking about investments and i think that is something that you would benefit from and maybe that is why this came up so that i can give you this channel not that is actually going to happen for some of you it's just about maybe finding ways how where to invest how can money make money now when it comes to investments what i want to say i wouldn't suggest investing in something if you don't have you know money for two months in advance plus your loans paid or you know some kind of you know um amount of money that you that you know that is big and needs to be paid you know i'd suggest investing when you have those things sorted if you know that is not a big uh, you know amount of money then fine but it does seem like maybe some of you will come up with ideas of how to allow money to make money and i'm looking at one video that she has it's called um let me see the full title starting from the bottom with 1000 how would i invest my money and um a lot of the things that she talks about is very interesting you know when and i think you can actually pick up advice from her own stories what she has done and what she would do now i think that would be a really good thing for even you know younger people looking into pensions looking into the future you know, and all of those things and i know that young people might want to live here and now but i think that channel has a lot of great content it's not sponsored <laughs> i'm just telling you what i'm looking at and um, I think that is something that you guys might want to look into. Obviously, if you don't have money, don't invest, right? Um, even if you think that, okay, just 50 pounds is going to be, or dollars is going to be nothing. Um, nah. <laughs> nah. Unless you're very, very assertive of what it is that you are doing. And plus, you know, investments take time. This is passive income. So I don't know why I took that that long to talk about money, but that's something that just came out naturally. Let's see what else we have with this shark. Yeah, look, after that, what we have here, we have choose. And in this deck, it seems like you know what you're aiming for. So swords are also ideas. You might be making those clever moves. Um, how do you want to claim money? How do you want to improve your finances? And it's going to take a bit of thinking. You know, hangman doesn't hang there for no reason. He's like, let me hang myself upside down. Uh, I don't care what, I'm, what, what is falling off of me, right? I want to see the world from a different perspective. So maybe you will want to see the... Um, your finances from a bit of a different perspective. How I was do making money before, how can I make my money in the future, right? So... A lot of ideas and I think this is going to be quite a beneficial time for you and thank God the shark came up because I think some of you will um, will come up with something quite important for yourself there's going to be that time of contemplation if you feel like you don't have enough right now it's not a bad place to be from my own experience um, I mean, I'm always a bit of an optimist, you know, you put me, uh, I don't know, um, give me a, no, no bed to sleep and I'm still going to find, you know, <laughs> optimism in that situation. I just, I love laughing at myself, but also, you know, it's about thinking, you know, what it is that I can, that I can do. Why am I in this situation? And a lot of times when I've been put in difficult situations financially, or when things were not moving in my career, I knew that 
This time of contemplation with four of swords and the hangman is given to me for a reason so I can see something that I've been missing, right? Because then you have time to think about things. So I think this is going to be a great next three months where you might come up with ideas you never thought you would, or maybe you will take interest in things that you never thought you would. Okay, anything else? Yeah, and I feel like this Three of Sorrow came out reversed, and I'm just going to keep it that way. It seems like you guys, almost like if you had any kind of ties to something, you know how to release yourself from it. Would it be money ties, financial ties? You know how to improve that. You know how to make things better for yourself. And I'm looking at that chain. I think that's what that chain has um, in mind, right? Breaking free from some kind of pattern here. And it's big. It feels big to me. Let's clarify, Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Um, those who are trying to have kids, that's why I'm seeing this. Let me adjust you a little bit. Those who are trying to have kids, it's, it's, it's telling you to keep on going. Don't lose faith. Okay? That's for one or two of you out there. Yeah, keep on going. What did I say, right? With a chariot. For some others of you, um, I need one more card. You know what it feels like to me? And I'm going to be quite specific and I'm just going to tell you what I see. Uh, rabbit, the chariot, right? And these cards around. What I'm picking up here, uh, maybe it seems like for some of you, <laughs> if you do have a partner or if you are hooking up with someone or whatever the case, um, there might be an issue when it comes to finishing too quickly. Let's put it that way. And um, I think that's going to be talked about. Or if you will find yourself in a situation where, you know, you are single and, and you do hook up with someone or you're going to be interested in someone, right? And you have this um, intimate moment, there might be a situation where um, it might be a, <laughs> it might be quick. <laughs> Sorry, guys, pile number three. That's what I'm seeing here. I mean, for some people, you know, it can be a good thing. Some people don't like, you know, going on for hours. So wherever you stand here, wherever you stand. Now, some others of you, if you felt like you, you wanted to go and check yourself, that would be a good thing. I always say if you've been drawn to, you know, uh, checking your health, always do that. Because science for me is all about health. And uh, this has something to do with sexuality and sexual health. So maybe if you've been drawn to doing so now, this is not for people who are like, oh my God, you know, don't take it that way. Oh my God, something is wrong with me. Nah, you would know, you would know, you know, if you are drawn to uh, um, going, maybe your breast checked, you know, maybe go and check down there, whatever the case. Um, it seems like I keep seeing a doctor. So maybe you're going to be um, wanting to have regular checkups and be better at kind of checking in with your health, you know, or taking care of, care of yourself a little bit more. But that is very sexual to me here. Overall, maybe some of you are pregnant and you're gonna just have to go and do scans. That's literally what it might be talking about, right? So please apply this as you will. Now, ink pot, it says problems to be resolved. Let's see, what is that about? What are you resolving? Okay, well, yeah, there are a lot of swords all over this reading, I must say. A lot of swords in this reading, I must say. Look, and I'm pulling even more. Mm-hmm. Anything to do with, for a lot of you guys, anything to do with um, 
with your thoughts or maybe your mental health here if you um, wanted to improve that by changing your routine or eating healthier that is gonna be resolved you know and it doesn't have to be that you um you are in a low space you know some people just want to keep improving their mental health you know let me find maybe something to do so that i feel better in the morning is that the diet that you want to look at sorry guys one sec is that a diet that you want to improve you know what what food you put in your body in your temple is um it working out does working out help for you because there are a lot of thoughts all over this reading and these are your thoughts and it does seem like you may be finding ways how to improve and how to feel better in your everyday life and you're going to be very uh focused on self Pile three is all about self you know what it's almost like feels to me you wake up one day and you're like instead of pastry i'm having banana you know, and that's how it goes. And then you start looking up other things and taking interest in other things, you know, maybe finding a gym next door. And it seems like everything will change for you. It's, um, it has a lot to do with your, your body is your temple. And I really like this for you. And it seems like, sorry guys, it seems like something is touching my hair throughout this reading. So I'd say pay attention to that because that might be either... If you do have someone who's passed, um, that is usually the trying to draw your attention or they just show you, you know, I'm comforting you in a way. Especially when it comes to difficult situations, you know. If you feel alone, you might feel that kind of sensation. And yeah, let me see what else. Um, for some of you, it can be as simple as if you are a chef, you might come up with some kind of idea or recipe that is going to be somehow unique. Or if you try to cook something and it didn't work out for you for the first time and you're very passionate about it, it seems like you're going to overcome the issue of the ingredient. I'm being overly specific here, but someone needs to hear. In general, if you thought that, you know, your business, uh, anything to do with hospitality, I must say, is not, or your or your work is not going the way you want it to, or there is some kind of, you know, disturbance there, uh, everything is being resolved here, I'm seeing. And a lot of this reading has to do with self, self-care, you know, self, um, work on self, you know, body, and all of those things. And I feel like when I talk about this, I'm... I've been doing a lot of that, you know, search and I've been looking at improving things and, you know, I usually do detoxes from time to time, but I've noticed that I haven't done it for some time and I was like, hmm, let me actually do that. So let me see if I do have the link open, maybe someone's going to want to look, look at this. But now, this is not something, remember, I'm not a doctor, right? I want you guys to do your own research. That's something that I'm looking at. It doesn't mean that you need that. But maybe for literally one or two, that's going to be something that will be helpful. So there is that thing, that powder. Um, it's called uh, Hawaiian Spirulina Pacifica. That's the one I'm looking at. And um, look up what it is. It's uh, for me, what I want to use it for is my own digestive system and overall immune system. Um, and then I'd say look at the ingredients and the vitamins that this, um, this, pa this powder has and everything. You know, before I buy something, I take at least a week of research. I mean, I'm a bit nerdy when it comes to this. And there are a couple of videos online, you know, about this. Um, if you want to know how it's spelled, it's spelled S-P-I-R-U-L-I-N-A, spirulina. And the best one is apparently from Hawaii and I think somewhere else. So do your, do your research, okay? Um... Hope that was helpful for someone out there. Maybe that's going to be... I think it was on TED Talk as well. There was an, a video about it on TED Talk. But I think it's quite old video. So do your research. Anything that you feel that you want to improve, this is the best time for you. This is all about self. This is all about truly focusing on what you want. And that is going to improve your 
quality of life, I must say. So if you're going to feel like you don't want to do certain things um, or if you don't want to do as much throughout your day, uh, remember that that time might be given to you in order to think. Would it be improving your finances? Would it be improving your health? Maybe both, right? But a lot of research is happening here. Um, take an interest in things maybe you haven't come across before. Clever, clever, clever. Okay, let's clarify chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Again, I keep pulling more swords. I'd say for pile number threes, pay attention to how much uh, time you're spending on social media or maybe even watching tarot readings, you know. It's good to ask for advice and you truly, you know, um, seek for guidance, but not when it's overly obsessive or when you lose your power in it, right? So that's something for some of you to look at. And um, there is something about screen time that has to be disciplined. Maybe this is your child that you're dealing with, right? And also maybe for some of you taking the information that media puts out too much to your heart and not say maybe take some time off, you know, switch off that TV if it's affecting you in that way. And, you know, I'm pulling more cards and it seems like, you know, there are some kind of um, almost um, advertisement happening here, right? So power, there is something about interference with power. So some of you might notice maybe that there is, I'm going to go back to the spirit here or maybe your own energy field. You might feel that you are somehow interfering the power. So it can be um, to do with technology. And um, this happens to people who have this intense energy field, you know, or this intense energy about them. Or, it, you know, for spirit world, it's also very easy to access, access, you know, and to manipulate the electricity. So that's when you would notice, you know, things happening. Uh, but it's not those, you know, tricksters that I'm talking about. I'm talking about deceased people who are actually trying to get your attention or maybe show you something that you may need to pay attention to, right? So that would be an example if you are spending too much time watching something and, you know, you feel drained, but you still keep on watching. You may have some kind of a, you know, lag or something cuts off, you know, and pay attention to that because some kind of chain that has to end. So some kind of routine has to change or behavior pattern, Make sense? And I think that's something that you'll be working on. So whatever I'm talking about here, that's what you'll be looking at and you will be improving, right? And then we have pleasure. And that's when the sexual matters uh, repeats itself. <laughs> okay. So it seems like for pile number three, um, your sex life will be improving here. Um, those who already have, ga already have, I wanted to say gag, Maybe for some of you, that's something, you know. But for some of you who do have already um, their sex life on point, it seems like you will discover something that will be even better. I don't want to continue talking about that because there are so many more stories I could talk about here, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Right, let's look at your card here. We have Oblivion. Open your arms. I want to read about this. Um, this is a beautiful card. Look at this representation here of this girl. It seems like you are soothing yourself even in this card, you know? Um, Self-care is big, big in this pile. Let me guys connect my phone to charge because I don't know how much battery I have left. Because this reading is taking a bit longer than I have expected it to. Okay, now I can't find the plug. Okay, here we go. Right. So let's look at what Oblivion has to say. It says... Are you blind to the gifts around you? Do you tend to cut your nose off to spite your face? 
There is something beautiful and useful in dark reflection and sorrowful emotions, but these same emotions turn ugly when they are not and when they rot and fester to become self-pity and martyrdom. The flowers are waiting for when you are ready, but do not let them die. Do not let everyone know what is going on in your head. It is time to keep up appearances. There is great beauty and gifts around you, but you are turning your back to them. Be brave and raise about, above the section of self-pity. Avoid wallowing in indulgent sorrow. You have inflicted enough self-suffering. So remember this card is talking about something that you're coming out of, you know, what you're dealing with, what you're finding from what kind of scenario are trying to come out of and for you guys that chain card has a lot of meaning to it what kind of behavior pattern that was you know would it be your thoughts would it be that pity mindset would it be i don't know whatever that would be you know some kind of repetitive situation and it says the girl stands in a pool of water her emotions are physically manifesting. The water is reflecting the moonlight, but it grows stagnant. It needs to swell and move. Her arms are folded in resistance. She is blocking the peace and fulfillment that she yearns for, and yet feels she must deny herself. The petals are starting to fly away in the wind. Do not miss your opportunity because you are wallowing and feeling sorry for yourself. Open your arms and receive the gifts waiting for you. Turn your face to the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. So that is what you're learning, pile number three. So that was quite a story for you. Big learning time, but also almost like self-discovery and knowing why things happen the way they are. And you're going to be turning towards self-improvement, education, research, and uh, improving your health overall, which is nice to see. So I hope this made sense and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile four, I'm going to be pulling from the tea leaf and I'm going to tell you what is what. In a moment, I want four cards, more or less, four cards. There's a month that might be significant for some of you or was significant. Yeah, it probably was because I think I saw August. Yeah. Now, you know, depends when you're watching this video. Honestly, August might be coming up for you. We have very straightforward and plain cards. You know, they, these have no messages. Very straightforward August career. You got the gist kind of thing, you know? So maybe you are that kind of people, kind of no bullshit type. Uh, very straightforward. Straight to the point. Give me two more cards, please. Without dropping the whole deck, because this deck is very hard to shuffle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I have actually... Two more for you guys that just flew all over the table. So now this card is going to talk about what you might be dealing with, you know, for all those three months. But this is more so about self, okay? Mm, depths, you know, subconscious, conscious, all of that inner stuff. Um, now the Keeper will talk about what is improving in your life. And that, let's look at your tea leaf. We have August, we have career. Then we have... Secret admirer, we have carrot, opportunity or windfall, we like it, we'll take it. We have pineapple, reconciliation, as well as love. Right, this is making sense to me. Let's put all of those uh, love messages here, you know, romance in one pile. And let's see what is improving. So remember, we have, you know, prison and restriction. And this sits in a position what is improving in your life. 
And um, if you kept yourself in some kind of situation that was restricted for you, um, if you were placed in a situation, you know, but I like how, um, you know, my mom always says to me, there is no situation without a way out. And that's how I live by. And I think anytime we think we are restricted, there's always that way out. Doesn't matter how small the door has, you know, opened, but you can still put at least a finger through it in order to open, you know, the lock and, da -da 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 and all of that stuff. That's how I tend to see situations in my life, you know? And the thing, for you guys to gonna notice that too, what is improving and what kind of situation kept you back? It can be your own mind, you know? It can be maybe a person you could break away from. It can be anything, really, that you are realizing that you do have the key to that lock over here, right? And you can make things work. For some other people, uh, we do have your work improving um, anything that you are maybe uh, willing to change or if you are seeking for new opportunities things are moving in your career overall so we're gonna be clarifying these cards here and i think i i will use the urban tarot for you as well guys i don't use this deck because it's quite massive and um you can't see all of them on the table at once but I'm going to show it to you regardless. So let's clarify August. What is up with August here? So those who are watching this video now as I posted it, um, kind of reflect what has happened in August and how it in impacted you. And um, there is a lot of career and love here. And I think there might be some kind of reflection that you will be doing and looking back, in, but not looking back in order, you know, to stay in the past and just kind of um, continue thinking how things were and how things are now. It's more so there might be some kind of synchronicity to what happened in the past and what will be happening in the future. Something might seem familiar to you, some kind of scenario something that will happen that you'll be like, whoa, but it actually happened around that time. In general, I think autumn time somehow has significance here. So let me see, let me see. Bear with me guys here. Let's see. If you can hear my family discussing things next door, I can't do anything. <laughs> I moved back home, hey? Okay. Let's clarify the career because um, that August card, you know, we talked about. We have truce. I kind of want to put it aside here because here you go. Here you go. So we have more space for those love messages here. Um, it seems like you have a clear vision and that vision will come true within the next three months. That's, that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. Uh, would it be an office job? Would it be maybe something to do with finances, marketing, um, trading, exchange of some sort? Your work is your priority and work will be doing good. I must say, you know how to play your game. You know what your goal is, right? You know where you need to score. You know what you're doing. Things are going great, according to Prince of Discs. Slowly, steady. And you know how to play your game. You know how to win. You know what to do. What is your next step? So really good stuff when it comes to career. And we have career here and work and occupation. And remember how I said, um, what is improving? And these cards speak about what's going to be moving forward. So expect good changes in your work. Overall, whatever it is that you're doing, right? Whatever it is that you decide to maybe, uh, if you're gonna take it, take a new job, that will be going great too. But you're very mm, calculated the next three months when it comes to making moves. And I would say maybe for you guys too, um, I'm gonna mention it for a couple of you if you wanted to check this channel out because it came up for one other pile. The channel is called The Break. And I really love that um, lady. She's talking about clever money moves. Um, I think she's an ex-banker and she's very entertaining, but as well educational to watch. So if you wanted to look that up, it's all about, you know, 
what to what to invest in or what to pay attention to is it better renting or buying or you know all of that stuff and she uses her own experiences as well as she's very rational you know the way she explains things and um, I really like what kind of content she puts out that is one of her channels um, this is not sponsored this is stuff that I watch you know um, she uh, she has a couple of channels. I don't remember her other channel. I think she just goes by her name in that one. But if you wanted to take a look at The Break, right? Go ahead, because some people keep asking me then. What did you say? <laughs> okay, let's clarify the carrot. Opportunity or windfall. What is that about? It seems like you're winning in some kind of competition or if you need to compete for a job or if you have competitive you into competitive sports, but whatever that would be really, that you need to win against someone. It's coming through in a couple of cards here. You are gonna do really well. Yeah, it does seem like you're gonna be standing your ground. Damn, look at you, wealth came up. You're all about making, you know, money here. And you don't care like you are so determined that you don't care what it takes with the three of swords in the middle i'm gonna win i'm gonna take my coin or i'm gonna take whatever it is that is mine or whatever the goal that i have i know i'm gonna accomplish it and you will because we have the carrot uh, opportunity or windfall and then we have wealth as the last card so Clever, clever, pile number four. I would say very clever. You're very determined. You see, you hard workers and you know how to make your coin. Now, if this is not how you feel right now, this is how you're gonna feel the next three months. So you don't have to resonate with those, you know, specifically future readings because a lot of the things, you know, you are not aware of just yet. You know only what your ego knows of right now, right? So sometimes what I do, I just watch, um, a video if, you, if I'm just doing something in the background right and uh, I'm like hmm you know what would be interesting actually looking back and actually looking at what the last one said and what actually happened and in many cases what happens to me <laughs> I find that the messages that I I couldn't you know relate to before because I didn't know about those situations this just yet um, happened so a bit like unexpected events right now, obviously, you know, it's a bit tricky with the collective readings, but um, I find that some things happen regardless. It's important for people to know how to interpret it too. I might make a video on that one day. Because once you know how to uh, go about a collective reading, that's when you can kind of pick up more information and it can be more useful for you. So let's talk about this love situation here. We have the money. We have, you know, even if we don't have the money, right, right now, um, there are going to be clever moves that will be making money. So if someone is really worried, I'd say if you picked pile number four, you won't be worried in the future. Let's put it that way. Work is all over this place, you know, but again, it's not about sitting on the couch, you know, and waiting for these cards to come true. Actually, this guy is working. This guy is working pretty hard. This guy is very calculated here and he knows what kind of moves he has to make in order to win. So um, it seems like you're very analytical as well as action oriented. So these are two things that work, you know, having a plan and pulling through. But a lot of times um, I'd say intuition is important as well. I put those three th things together, you know, and um, that's a really good match when it comes to success because sometimes you know when you can have a plan okay i'm going to invest in this property seems great this is a great time to invest in that property right i know it's going to do well in the future but your intu if your intuition is saying that's not your thing without any reason it's probably correct and I know it might be difficult for those who are very analytical to listen to your gut when your mind is very active I don't know who needed to hear that, but probably someone. Now, let's go. Let's see. 
And usually, you know, it turns out to be true because maybe that money or that investment that you want to make, it's gonna um, be needed somewhere else, somewhere even better. But because we don't see it, we don't know it, right? Okay, let's see. Talk about love. What is about this love and secret admirers and reconciliation and damn, what is going on here? Is it only me? When this pineapple sits in that position of love, is it only me who has this dirty mind? Uh, oh, I remember the community section. This is not only me. You know, when I posted mushrooms, just picture of mushrooms. And half of the people went, mm, doesn't looks like something else. And I was like, damn, I didn't pick it up. I'm usually the one who is a bit like, you know, dirty minded and cracks inappropriate jokes most of the time. Let's see. Let's see. What is up? What is up? We have Dominion. We have Dominion. You're making a choice of some sorts. And it can be about partners or what you want to do with your current partner. Um, it seems like there are admirers around you, but you are taking some time off to contemplate. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Eight of Cups. It seems like um, there is going to be love presenting itself to you. But what you are looking at, you're like, let me focus on this. You know, let me focus on this. So it's up to you, whatever the heck you want to do about it. You know, you know what's right for you at what time. But it does seem like there is love for you there. Um, and it seems like there are two options. So if you wanted to just take your mind off, you know, making money or finding ways how to make money, that's always a good thing. Knowing when you need a break and you need some kind of maybe even distraction. Um, and just to maybe genuine time, you don't know who, you know, how this meeting will go or... Um, What is going to turn out of it? A lot of times when I'm um, working with uh, people who have their own businesses and um, regular clients, right? I know when there is that time um, where things are not going as smoothly or things seem a bit more stagnant than before in business, that time is given or for ideas or relationships. So it's not about, you know, putting your business aside completely or your work aside completely. Uh, make sure, obviously, that you've done all your tasks or whatever you, you had to do, you know, your responsibilities. But um, don't keep pushing when it's not moving, you know? And that is when you are usually given that time for something else in your life. And that is how balance is. So what I used to do when I saw that, hey, you know, it's um, I'm into work mode for too much. I just book, you know, a trip somewhere or I see my friends, you know, and um, everything starts moving automatically within that week already, you know, Whoop, charts are up, you know. So I'd say pay attention to that. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, this is your choice. Whatever you want to do, you want to... You want to accept a romantic interest or not, but it somehow feels to me that it would be ju good just checking it out. Um, now, for some of you, there is a person coming back. Would it be romantic, non-romantic, but it seems like you might decide to give them um, a cold shoulder or you will decide not to take them back. Anything else? Um, it's a lot to do with your own accomplishments here. See, we're talking about love and I'm looking at these cards and I'm like, you're still thinking about your career and work, right? You are too busy, it seems like. <laughs> Pal four, too busy for love. Uh, so if you do have a partner, I'd say know how to handle, you know, the both. You know, know where the balance lies. Maybe spend... Um, extra hour with them that would be good if you want to improve your relationship yeah look and we're pulling the queen of cups as i'm speaking in this deck she's a therapist it's saying for some of you that love it doesn't have to be only a romantic love you might be finding comfort um with some kind of therapist would it be a, a mentor 
someone who's coaching or counseling people, right? Look how beautiful this representation is. There are fishes right here. Looks like underneath the, the table and they're sitting in water. So whatever that therapy is, is very cleansing. And this can be a person that you are meeting that feels like that to you. You have a chat with someone, you feel emotionally cleansed, like water, right? And um, once you're very busy, once you feel like you are, things are too much or you're juggling things and you're like, um, I'm taking care of this and that and that, maybe allow yourself to be loved. Would it be, you know, a friendship? Would it be a romance? Would it be a family or your own partner? Um, don't forget about love, this is saying, you know, in the best way possible where mm, you need that. You have a lot of masculine energy in you, pile four, and it's all good. You know, you, you action takers, you have this high intellect, you know what to do, um, but... Um, it's somehow the next three months you might be even drawn to, you know, um, curling next to someone on the couch and saying, hey, can you, can you, you know, stroke my hair or can you just be, you know, I'm tired of hustling. That's how it feels like. And I think it's going to be a very nice moment. Some kind of bonding time is happening here, I must say. And it's very nice. Someone is uh, helping you feel replenished and cared for okay anything else yeah look we're pulling more swords here about make you know there's something about gaming here for some of you i must say something about gaming because look at this the game master right the game master then we have the defeat um, you're playing some kind of game where you will be focused on winning and you might not, however you want to portray this in your life and you don't want anyone to disturb you. And maybe that is why you might be, um, with eight of cups, somehow saying no to a connection here for some other, this is saying, give yourself enough rest, you know, don't be too tired. It's enough. Um, how many coffees you've had, pay attention to that, right? And look how interesting in this deck, I don't know if it's going to focus and it's, wait, let me adjust the camera, the light, sorry, a little bit. I'm not going to break everything here. Um, if you can see, there is a screen, right? There is a laptop, tasks, everything. And you can see tarot cards right here. So maybe some of you will be, will need to take a bit of time off from that if you are in this field i must say you might be drawn to actually going to a therapist or asking someone to help you out if you are the one who's helping everyone else right so let's take a look at your card here i'm sorry everything is so messy now i was so into this reading that i messed it all up we have doable hmm see this key It seems like these two people are somewhere indoors and that indoors, I'm hearing contained. You are not, it, it's saying, you know, you can get out. Do you remember how I talked about opening the door and having a key and finding opportunities? It's saying you can take those opportunities yourself. The key is within your grasp. So if you have any doubt um, with yourself in any situation where you feel stuck, it's saying you are the one who can make things work. So let's quickly do, uh, look at this doable card. What you seek is within your grasp. As with all yeses, there are adjustments. Release yourself from a lingering mental prison of fear that you are not enough, that you are not worthy. You have the right key. Don't doubt it. It's time to be grateful for your teachers, even the ones whose lessons you didn't necessarily like. Past lovers, past employers, bully cyber stalkers, all had lessons to teach you. Incredibly, when you meditate on gratitude for those lessons, the struggles around you dissipate. The key to opening the rest of your life hovers within your grasp. It's yours to use. So that's what I wanted to touch on. And it seems like you guys are almost like you already have claimed your power. But it seems like you're claiming more of it. You know, now it's like um, a, an engine. 
you realized what button you need to press, you know, in those new cars, <laughs> that or to in order to start the car. And now once the car started running, now you're going and visiting every place and taking every opportunity possible. Um, so seems like a big time for you. Seems like you almost like opening a gate to opportunities, to connections, to knowledge, and to this, I keep hearing hustling for panel number four. I don't know what it is that you do, but I just keep seeing you doing your thing, going forward and uh, minding your business. And um, these people, number four, you remind me of very successful people, you know, so we probably are some of you here and I'm picking up your energy. If you're not just yet, it's very doable for you. Just remember. Now, let's pull three messages. You can listen to all of them. Or if you want this to be more precise in your situation, you can choose from number one, two or three. And just going to be like a message for yourself right now. Okay. So that is for numbers one. Okay. Too many. Not feeling it. Um, number two, and let's see, number three, let's look at what we got, pile number one, pile group, it says, it's three of spring in regular deck, it's three of wands, it says, stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you may need, but you also need patience for the next phase to play out. And I think that's what you're going to be doing, you know, coming up with a plan, what it is that you want to do next. But don't forget that pat on the back, you know, a lot of people forget. They have a goal, uh, they achieve it and they, they start thinking already about the next goal, the next thing that they want to have. Uh, forgetting to celebrate in any way possible, you know, uh, the accomplishment. Every milestone is, is important. Numbers two, High Priestess. It says, this is a time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. Your intuition is on point right now. Everything that you need to know about is given to you. It's within you. All of, all, all, all of your answers, I can't even speak. I was like a broken radio for a minute. But yeah, you know it. Pile number uh, four is group number two. You know all the answers and um, check on your gut. The saying, check um, on your bodily sensations if you need an answer. How do you feel this is going to pan out if you need an answer? Those who are, you know, in spirituality and you're doing this work and professional, you know, um, expect your intuition to be much more heightened. Now, number three, eight of summer, which in regular deck is eight of cups it says you feel that there is more to life than what you are living so it's time to move on you may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you or perhaps you are being drawn to what would make you happy either way you in control yes you are because we have those keys that you're the one um who is grabbing it so whew, pal number four what a story i hope that this was helpful and uh enjoy the next three months from now you know keep on doing your thing and don't forget to go out for a dinner date from time to time. I'm going to catch you the next time. Bye for now.